Hello everyone, this is Ryan, and I'm going right into this. This is a fan-made horror game. Like, it's not official, and it was made with sprites and music and sounds and all from other places, but I'm playing it. This is Ravenwood Horror, and let's get right away started and just figure out as we go. Where the hell am I? Can't remember how I got here. My head is dizzy. This doesn't feel right. I have to find a way out of here. This place can be dangerous. Game info. Use the action button to interact and use items. Items that can be used show automatically upon interacting with an object. Anyways, though, I have actually played this game before, but not in a long time. And for a 2D game, partly thanks to all the use of Resident Evil and Silent Hill music, it does a fantastic job of stirring up atmosphere, surprisingly. Anyways, though, we're not going to waste a moment. We're going to the next room. Now, there's a few things to do in here. Over here... If we kind of take the time, we can read this file. There's a box of... Well, that's a box of matches, but <laughs> there's a file right over there. There's a page here. Looks like a page from a book. Then the great beast appeared, gazing into the heart of every man, woman, and child. And then light became darkness, for his eyes are black as the abyss. Well... Well, that is weird. I wonder if it means something. It probably does, you know, lunatic. Anyway, so there's nothing else that we need in here, so we're just gonna go right on in our mysterious awakening place. Examine this. They look like crosses. You can say that when they do. We go inside here. It's kinda dark in here. We can see because we're cheaters, or our screen is brighter than it should be. But there's a hole here. The grave has been emptied. Uh-huh. The fires have put out recently. I can use a mask to put it back. We light it, and there's something shining here. The grave is empty, but there's a small iron key in it. I will take it. The problem is, I don't remember all the puzzles inside this game, so if I get stumped, I'll look it up. But I'll, only if I get stumped, I'm going to try and solve them all again myself, because I have not played this in a while. We're outside of our awakening place, as we slowly make our way upward into this mysterious location. Lights barely light up the arena. We can barely see in front of us, but we still... Whoa, shit's getting serious! An earthquake. I better hurry up. Hey, hurry up where? Why is there an earthquake? Where are we even? Anyways, though, if we go over here, we notice there's a door blocking our path. There are letters on the door, something's right below. The door shall open only in the name of the master. Do nothing, we will, because the name of the master is revealed on these tombstones. Now, this one took me a long time to figure out the first time I played. In memory of Oswald O'Brien. That's cool. Then it's in memory of Woody Wonders. And this one is in memory of Henry Harrison. This one is in memory of Ron Rice. This one is in memory of Andrew Anderson. And this one is in memory of Dean Daggers. Now, you might have noticed something, but all of those names have two of the same letter inside each of their individual names. It's because we're supposed to basically take each of the letters and arrange all the dates. I'm going to have to take a piece of paper because I don't have my old notes when I played this game like a year or so ago. So I'm going to have to solve all these puzzles all over again. So anyways, though, I don't remember if it was the date of birth or date of death. I think it was date of birth, so let's see. We have an O at 1796 to 1824. All right, over here, this one, uh, yeah, it's the date of birth. So this one is, yeah, W at 1799. This one is 1805, and it's a D. This one is Andrew Anderson, and it's 1801, and that's an A. Okay, then this one is Ron Rice, and he died in 1802, so R. And the final one is Henry Harrison, this one's the first one, so the name is Howard. So the name of the master is Howard. There are letters on the door, so answer below. The only answer is the form password. I forget if you have to do all capitals or not, but I went to first trial capitals. It's very, very picky about its capitals, which is why I think it's kind of stupid, but we'll first try all capitals. You know, I don't think it's going to work. I think it's all. So we got Howard. Let's see if that works. Oh, there we go. That was it. The door has opened for Master. Master, will you serve me my next piece of polished pie? That's delicious, sir. Just delicious. Oh, yes, yes. Anyways, there's a piece of paper right over here. Oh, that's how we save our game. Uh, yeah, yeah, as I say, I've, I've played this game before. I made a second save file because I want to see all the multiple endings. I'll write over because I don't even care right now. 
Let's see, I want to make sure it's saved. Yep! Alright, but it's been a while since we played this game. I'm getting a little bit of lag. It's kind of strange. Oh, this one we can open. It's locked. I need a key to open this. And a key we shall find, Mr. You. Come over here. It's locked. Use the air key. Yes. That's where we need the key from the graveyard from. Anyways, we're entering. <gasps> blood stains. Blood. Fresh blood. Someone's been here recently. Not even mention the fact that he's bleeding or anything. It's someone's been here because bleeding's natural for everyone. This looks like an art gallery, and it's connected to the basement via a secret door. Interesting. It's not that secret because the tile of the floor next to it is different than all the other tiles in here. So it's not even since it's just to me at least. The picture is entitled Sunset in Ravenwood Forest. Cool. The statue is entitled The Angel of Life. The statue is entitled The Angel of Death. Where it's like everything. The door is shut. There's a circular hole in the middle. Something's written below it. Only he who controls life and death may pass. Yeah. The picture is entitled Nightfall in Ravenwood Forest, which is apparently where we are. Anyways, there's a missing painting over here. I wonder why. This picture is in the roof of the frame. The tile reads Punishment. This one, the picture is entitled Raining Blood. The one over here, the picture is entitled The Hour of Judgment. This one, the picture is entitled The Light Descendants. Also fascinating. Over here we have uh, the mass, which has been removed. Here we have a picture entitled The Garden of Stones. Right over here we have The Birth of the Great Beast. And over here is The Abyss. All of these are hints for something coming up inside the game, but we're not there yet. So we're just going to go in here into the library. Everyone's handy dandy library. A passage in the book is underlined. The birth of the beast shall be marked by the torment of the blasphemers. Ah, I thought it was been during it. Various books, nothing of interest. Various books, nothing of interest, nothing of interest, nothing of interest. We're gonna check everything until we know we've got everything. We just saved our game, we'll save it again. Anyways, there's more books lying around for us to fasten ourselves on. Okay, let's what this now. Passage in the book is underlined. Shall give her deed dead, and the garden of stone shall crack open, for the dead must meet with the living once again. Also, very fascinating and boring! Thought we were reading it anyways. A passage from the book is underlined, and then the sky shall rain blood to wash away their sins. Boring! We're just checking all this to make sure we're not missing anything important, because I don't remember if there's anything important in this room or not. Because I got that funny feeling there was one bookshelf somewhere in here that had a secret somewhere. We're just going to go over here first, because I remember that this area is a dead end. And a very dark dead end, if I may mention. Many leather-bound books. The lamp is put out. Use the mask to put back on. Yeah, it's in the fireplace now. There's a small ruby inside the fireplace, and I'll take it. Alright. The door is locked. I use a small key to open this. I have a small key. The door is locked. I need a small key. Okay. What's the paper say? Nothing. Various books about anatomy, or anatomy, or whatever. I can't pronounce shit. Various books about the end of days. Well, this person was a very happy person. Religions. Oh, this is also interesting. Many leather bound books. This guy was obviously some type of chronotic. Clock? Nothing in the clock. Tea? Nothing in the tea. So, this was a useless thing besides the light of match. So, we're just gonna be right on our way and entering the actual center hole of the mansion. This is 